Hello, I'm Katherine Nicewender with UW Extension. I'm part of a partnership with Ecos Fox Valley, the town of Menasha, and SCA Tissue, who have joined together to produce an educational videos to promote understanding of what sustainability is all about. Today, I'm here to talk about the topic of sustainability. What is sustainability? We hear the word a lot these days, sustainable energy, sustainable agriculture, sustainable communities. But what exactly does it mean? And what does, what does it have to do with us? Actually, sustainability has a lot to do with us in our daily lives. And living sustainably can be easy. It's not very time consuming and it can really make a difference. So, how do we get started? Let's take a look. First, we have to understand a little bit about where we live. We live here on Earth. Earth is our home and home to seven billion other people. This is our planet. We live here together. We all depend on it for everything. Think about it. What do you need or have that doesn't come from this planet? Things that we need and want typically come from our economy. What we buy, sell, create, trade, barter, exchange, the value that we put on things. Our economy, however, exists wholly within our society. Really, without our society, we wouldn't have an economy. Society includes the people around us, the communities we live in, the businesses we shop at. Most importantly, both of these entities, our economy and our society, exist wholly within our environment. Neither our economy or our society are outside our environment. You can think of our environment at the local level, the river in your community, the farmland on the edge of town, the park you play in, and the air you breathe. We can also think of the environment as our planet. There is nothing in our economy or society that doesn't come from Earth or that doesn't rely on the benefits that nature provides us. We are dependent upon it, and therefore we should treat it as though we want it around. For example, forests and trees clean our air, remove pollution, hold soil in place, provide us places to nurture our bodies and souls. Trees and plants made the coal and oil, which is the energy we're using today, and the Earth's crusts give us min minerals and metals that we can use to make the things that we want. Wetlands filter water, store stormwater, prevent floods, and provide habitat for ecosystems that provide, food, provide us food. And of course, healthy soil grows the food we need. Unfortunately, we use our planet, we consume its resources, as if we had five of them. In short, we're overdrawing on our resources. We live in debt. Just like our bodies, the Earth can be overwhelmed by too much when we eat too much or drink too much, we can get sick or become unhealthy. The same thing happens to our planet. We use too much, we pollute too much, and we waste too much. Our actions can take a toll on the health of the planet and more importantly, on its ability to support our society and our economy. Remember, our society and our economy are dependent upon a healthy planet. For example, chemicals that we make, such as fertilizers or pharmaceuticals, because nothing disappears, because that's a law of nature, everything we make ends up in the environment. Pharmaceuticals that we take get flushed down the toilet and end up in our lakes and streams, and then affect fish. Fertilizers and insecticides that we make and put on our gardens goes into our food and into our bodies, or might be washed off of the land and into our lakes and streams. Nature can absorb some of this and break some of it down, but not all of it, especially when we're putting it in too fast. Millions of plastic bottles made from petroleum and chemicals are consumed and thrown away each day. And did you know that um umbilical cord, cord blood and breast milk contains hundreds of thousands of man-made chemicals because nothing disappears and there's more in the environment than it can handle? There's too much destruction of forests and we are bulldozing wetlands and converting open space and farmland to housing developments thus destroying trees, plants, and the natural environment that create energy for us and cleanse our air and water. In fact, we've lost about 50% of our wetland acres in Wisconsin and about 17% of our farmland acres right here in the Fox Valley, a substantial loss of our precious resources. We also burn too much carbon, fossil fuels, coal, oil, natural gas. The byproducts of burning these, con these concentrate in the atmosphere, causing smog, carbon monoxide, particulates, and mercury problems. These cause health problems, warming temperatures, changes in weather patterns, and destruction of land for mining and pumping out of the more, more carbon, 
and sometimes even conflict for access to these resources. And sustainability isn't just about the environment. It's also about people. It's about us, about how we treat each other. All over the world, even in our own backyard, people are unable to get the food and shelter they need or live a fulfilling, productive life. In fact, globally speaking, we can think about what is happening using the metaphor of a funnel. Our natural resources are in decline, either quality or quantity, and our use and demand of these resources is on the rise. The two walls of the funnels are closing in. Our demand is outstripping our supply. Sustainability means working to reverse this trend and open up the funnel. Sounds easy, right? This is a picture of 60,000 60, plastic bags, the number of bags used every five seconds in the United States. We've all made choices that degrade the earth. In fact, we can't help it. We all have to eat, and sometimes we can't help the chemicals that we have to use. And most of us live in places where we can't help but drive. It's part of how we live. We're all contributing to the degradation of our planet. But just as we contribute to these problems through our lifestyles, the good news is that we can all make choices that reverse these trends and improve our environment. After all, our existence depends on our doing this. Sustainable living is a lifestyle that is deeply satisfying, fulfilling, and appealing because it is socially, environmentally and economically responsible. Sustainable living is about making informed choices, even small ones, that improve both the quality of our lives and that of the planet for future generations. So, how can you get started? It's easy. When you're at home, in your yard, in your garage, driving your car, you can make sustainable choices in what you eat, what you buy, how you get around, and how you dispose of things. These are choices we can make to help us live sustainably. To live like we have one planet, not five, and so that our families and kids can also have enough to enjoy and live a full life. Once you get the hang of things around the house, you can take your sustainable habits to, to work or to the office. And you might also start to notice things around your community, how your community is working to be more sustainable, or how your friends and neighbors are living more sustainably too. All over Menasha and the Fox Valley, people just like you are making choices to live sustainably. They're turning off lights, they're planting trees, they're using cloth grocery bags, they're recycling their hazardous waste and electronics, they're buying their food locally from farm markets, and they're walking instead of driving. It's easy. Simply find your passion and start with, with what matters most to you. All of these actions add up. Your efforts lead to more healthy families, healthier communities, and healthy ecosystems. Living sustainably is easy, and you can make a difference. Why not start today? This video series contains idea, ideas on how to be more sustainable at home, in your backyard and garden and around your neighborhood. Simply visit this website to watch, learn, and take steps to live more sustainably.